you'll see it was a mistake parting ways with me. Sir, is everything all right? How kind of you to ask. The name's Ackley Barnes. And no, it is not. I'm plotting a sort of revenge against my ex-business partner, a conniving fiend by the name of Alfred Lawley. He cut me out of our herbology supply business, just as we were getting started. <laughs> Said I was too volatile to work with. I'll show him volatile. That must have been frustrating for you. Yes, yes it was. Terribly. I'm simply passionate about my work. Supercilious fool. He's passionate about things too. As I intend to remind him by relieving him of his prized possession. A venomous tentacular he's grown from a seedling that was to be the keystone of our business venture. I can't get anywhere near it with Ruth Singer watching me like an augury. Lawley's doing, no doubt. But no one would suspect a student. Hmm. How would you feel about committing some grand plant larceny? What else is in Mr. Lawley's cellar? All of Lawley's herbology supplies. He has quite the collection. Fill your pockets while you're there. Or to slow him down for a bit. And I can get my business going minus any competition. Why do you need Mr. Lawley's venomous tentacular in particular? Simple. If I have it, then Lawley doesn't. Ergo, I can launch my business and he must start all over again. I'm killing two snidgets with one stone. You said Mr. Lawley was your ex-business partner. What were you working on? I had an idea to train Venomous Tentacula, create guard plants, if you will, that attacked when ordered. We hit a snag when one ate Lawley's kneesel. After that, he cut me out of the business, the short-sighted fiend. I'll get the Venomous Tentacular for you. Marvellous. I know a fellow seeker of justice when I see one. Take as many herbology supplies as you like while you're in his cellar. All I ask is that you bring me the Venomous Tentacular. Remember, I just need that Venomous Tentacular. Seems I need to find Mr. Lawley's cellar. This must be the cellar. Now, to find that venomous tentacular. Confringo! Better not let Mr. Lawley see me. Stop! Plant bandit! This must be... Now, to find that venomous tentacular. Better not let Mr. Lawley see me. Rebellion. Venomous Tentacular. Revelio.
Now that I have the Venomous Tentacular, I should return to Mr. Barnes. Any luck retrieving a certain friend of Hello, mine? Hello, Mr. Barnes. I have that venomous tentacular. Ha! Wish I could see Lawley's face when he realizes his prized possession is gone. Let's see who's volatile now. Well done. I'll take it off your hands now. It wasn't as easy to come by as I had expected. I'd like to be paid for my troubles. <sighs> Only fair, I suppose. I can respect your business acumen. Here's a little something for your next trip to Zonko's. Thank you again for your help. I suspect you have a bright future.
Pardon me, but were you saying something? Oh, hello. Talking to myself. I'm Clementine. Willetsy. Charm. I was musing on the precious butterflies I see near the edge of the forest. Whenever I come near, they fly off into it. When I was at Hogwarts, we truly were forbidden from entering the forest. Told horrible stories about it, and I've had an irrationally intense fear of it ever since. It's silly. But I'm insatiably curious as to where the butterflies go in the forest. You couldn't possibly find out, could you? You want me to follow the butterflies? I do, yes, if you wouldn't mind. What were the horrible stories you were told about the Forbidden Forest? Oh, goodness, everything from students being mysteriously beheaded to terrifying spider dens. Ugh. Trust me, you hear that at 11 years old, it sticks with you. Very well. If I have time, I shall see where they lead. Oh, how kind. Students these days have so much more courage than I ever did. You can usually find me right around here. I hope to see you soon. Don't forget, the butterflies always seem to be on the fringes of the Forbidden Forest. Good luck. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Revelio. Huh? There they are. She wasn't making it up. Well, we've come this far. Miss Willetsy might get an answer about these butterflies. Willardsy will never believe where the butterflies led me. Revelio. Oh well, look what we have here.
rebellion. Doesn't get any more cozy than Hogsmeade. Oh, please tell me you have an answer for me about the butterflies. Hello, Miss Willensy. Well, what happened? Did you find them? They led me into the forest and revealed a treasure. Oh, how lovely! I'm glad you were rewarded for your efforts. Oh, perhaps one day I'll be able to bring myself to go into the forest. For now, I'm happy simply knowing there's something so lovely to see, should I dare. Been a vampire worth knowing. You're back! Nice to see you again. What are we looking for today? Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. Hello, is something the matter? Most decidedly, yes. My precious moon calf, Biscuit, was abducted by poachers up north. Oh, the vicious brutes. I tried to fight back, but I was no match for them. I'm sorry about your moon calf, Mr. Garnuff. Just Garnuff. I'm only one goblin. Not a particularly brave one at that. I have no chance against a pack of bloodthirsty poachers. Oh, my poor Biscuit. I can only hope she's able to escape. A moon calf is an unusual pet. Why did you choose Biscuit? She followed me one evening. I wouldn't leave my side. Never thought I was one for a pet of any kind. But now I can't imagine life without her. Moon calves are often thought of as silly, simple-minded creatures. But I've seen great depth of character in Biscuit. I wouldn't trade her for a hippogriff or a hippopotamus, or even a goose that lays golden eggs. Why do you suppose the poachers took Biscuit? I have no idea. Mooncalf dung's highly valuable for fertilizing magical plants. But I cannot imagine poachers care much about gardening. Who knows what they'll do to her? She could be flog-skinned, gutted and stuffed. I assume. Oh, Biscuit. I'll keep an eye out for your moon calf, Garneth. Oh, how kind. 
If only all of Wizard Kine was as gracious to goblins. If you do see her and can bring her safely home to me, I promise to reward you for your efforts. Do keep an eye out for her, and be careful out there. I should try and rescue Garnoth's moon calf. Sounds as if I'd need to head north to find those poachers. Garnif was right then. I had better be careful. Uh, you think you're safe? You think you're so clever, don't you? They say you're hard to hit, but that won't stop me. My brother. You disagree. It's not your best defense. Reductor. I think that one hurt. Troll you are. 
Time to get my claws out. Reduction. There's proper fable there. You took Laura to my knife. Careful not to get bit. Stole the god Redacto! Redacto! My bite is worse than my bark. Alohomora. Now then, which 
one of you is Biscuit? Rebellion. Shall we? Hogsmeade, here I come. What will I do without her? Garneth, I've rescued Biscuit. You have? Oh, is she hurt? Or was she frightened? Are you all right? Biscuit is fine, as am I. I was able to rescue her without much incident. Oh, mercy. Where poachers are concerned, I tend to expect the worst. I cannot wait to get her home. Oh, I so miss seeing her dance in the evenings. Such joy. You can have her back, for the right price. I... of course. I would pay any amount for the safety of my dear Biscuit. Oh, my sweet little Biscuit. My wise, noble Mooncalf. And here is your reward, of course. Well deserved. As I said before, you have restored my faith in wizard kind. You've restored at least a modicum of my faith in wizard kind. Come in! 
Uh, sorry if there's a smell. New batch of toad hide. Now, what sorts of beast byproducts might you be looking to acquire? I'll not mind seeing you here again. Consider yourself welcome. Sometimes. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. <sighs> Thank you again for delivering those potions to Madame Lawing. Save me a lot of time and trouble. Here you found a bit of treasure in the forest. <laughs> Was never one for adventure myself. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now.
Now, you let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. No one can say I don't keep a stacked shelf. Let me guess, you're after something fresh. You have a good head for business, haven't you? No one can say I don't keep a stack well, shelf. I'm told that last clip. Oh, it's you! What a pleasant surprise. Now, Demi guys, Revelio. than Hogsmeade.
Geek thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Things. You should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambiance. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Actually, perhaps another time.